Good evening, everybody, wherever you may be. Showing you how I model a sword here. Of course, this is based very directly on the character you can see in the background there. I have tried desperately to find the artist, never did. Start out with a really basic shape for it. A good sword, uh, it, you know, it's pointy at one end and uh, usually has a handle at the other. I'm trying to get too tactical on things. My goal in this was to make a low poly but very faithful recreation of the design you see. His was probably done in a uh, professional studio. He certainly looks very professional, and that means it would have been very high poly and wouldn't have been able to be used in a game. So I use a couple of techniques, like here, where I'm using very low uh, low number of polys to pull out the blade. There's a couple of times at the end where I kind of wish it was a little smoother, but for how close you're going to ever get to the blade, it actually looks good at even close ranges, so I'm pretty proud with how it ended up turning out. Giving it a little more heft here, giving it a little more uh, shape to it. Really wanted to make sure that it stopped looking like a uh, scimitar and more into the cutlass. You gotta give it that, that belly, that beefiness to it. Pirates weren't known for flimsy light blades most of the time. They like the big thick ones you can chop out like a uh, chop through a jungle or chop through a uh, another pirate. The hilt I did separately on purpose because this will be a piece that you could probably swap out for a different one. So you can have the same looking blade, especially for sword fighting. It's the same blade, but you can customize it to kind of look the way you want it to. This was an interesting challenge too. Spears are traditionally really nasty to work with in any game environment. If you uh, ever play anything that has a ball or a soccer ball or something close, and you, you get a good look at it, it starts getting really weird around the edges. So this is where I used a lot of the, the only part I would say is higher poly. But I wanted to make sure they are clearly read as a, an, a squid or an octopus. Doesn't really specify, it kind of looks like an octopus thing in the background, I call it a squid. Eh, semantics. It doesn't even have eight anythings, it just has the three. You can discover here one of the uh, nice little things, you just turn on a little smoothie and suddenly everything's smooth. The eyes were an interesting challenge. I failed the first time just trying to get what I wanted, so I came up with this alternate option. They look like flathead uh, screw tops. So I ended up using that as kind of my reference to make this slit eye design. I actually think it turned out pretty dang well. I really want to see what it looks like in game engine. But shouldn't be too far off. That's the advantage of Blender to, to Unity. A lot of stuff is very similar. Again, cartoony proportions, but very faithful to do the uh, larger version of the background there. Here I am just cleaning up parts you're never going to see, like the inside of the handle. You're, you're never going to see it. Your character's almost always going to have their hand over it, or if you do, it's going to be in its scabbard, and, and you're just not going to get a lot of detail out of it. Here I'm just doing some finishing touches, getting it all looking just the way I want. Do you know how to use that thing? Yes. The pointy end goes into the other man. Ah, uh, yes, the uh, the missing clip. Of course, that was all my fault. But as you can see, the hand painting really did a nice number on it. Uh, I, I managed to really flesh out the blade look to it, give it a little shine on the edges, so it's always going to be a, just a catch the light just right. I did this uh, without doing a whole mock-up for it because, as you'll see at the end here, I got a little clip of what it looks like in a mock-up, and it turned out pretty well. The mock-up shows off especially the textures of the boots and the sword really well. Well, until next time, fair winds, y'all.